Hi, in this video, I'll be talking about the adherence junction. So in the epithelial cells, there could be multiple different type of cell junctions. There could be adherence junctions, there could be gap junctions, there could be tight junctions and so on. So in this particular video, we'll focus on adherence junction and its physiological relevance and importance in development and cancer. So the adherence junction between two cells are just like uh, uh, something is hooked into into a wall. So it's like so there would be something anchoring region and on the other hand side there should be some support and we would be talking about that in this whole video. So here are the two cell junctions in a magnified version. So you have the cadherin molecules in a second we will talk about cadherin molecules in details and you have the actin microfilaments so the actin microfilaments are the rigid supports and the uh, cadherin is uh, one side attached to the actin microfilaments by several adapters which are termed as catenins and on the other hand side it is attached to another cadherin molecule so this so there is a homophilic interaction between two cadherin molecules from two sides of the cell and each of the uh, cadherin molecules coming from the cells are connected to the actin cytoskeleton from the, of the cells, right? Now, since one of the connection between these uh, cadherin is very weak, there are multiple different uh, connections between cadherins in array. So together, all of these connections make it a strong uh, connection. Now, these cadherin proteins are connected to the actin cytoskeleton by catenins. Uh, one of the important catenin is alpha catenin, beta catenin, and also P190 catenin. So all these catenin molecules are working like an adapter, which is attaching the cadherin molecule to the actin Cytoskeleton, actin cytoskeletal. But apart from its attachment function or adapter function, catenin molecules are important platform for, for signaling. For example, beta catenin is important for wind signaling. So this could have also signaling roles as well. Now, this cadherin has five uh, extracellular domains, which are like in a jumbled situation when there is no calcium available or when, when the calcium level is low. But when the calcium level is high, there is a conformation shift. So it becomes more rigid and less flexible. And they also dimerize to form a rigid structure, which is like, which can interact in cadherin molecules on the other hand side. And this homophilic interaction, though each homophilic interactions are weak, but together all the homophilic interactions make it a very strong junctions and connection between them. So cadherin basically connect the two nearby cells like a velcro so each of the interaction between the velcro is weak but together the velcro interaction is pretty strong so this is a crystal structure of the cadherin which shows the ec1 domain of the cadherin from coming from the each side of the cells are interacting with each other and the cadherin need calcium for their interaction so it, it has been seen when the calcium is washed away or calcium is chelated the adherence uh, the in in vitro situation or even in in vivo situation the cadherins cannot interact with each other in a strong manner so there could be multiple different type of adherence junction sometimes they are punctate so they are known as punctate punctum adherence sometimes they are like a zone or band of uh, adherence junction known as zonular adherence and there could be even complicated tricellular adherence junction as well so we now talk about adherence junction and it's important and cadherin it's important in terms of the development so we talk about the neural tube development so we know after gastrulation there are three defined germ layers the ectoderm the mesoderm the endoderm the ectoderm give rise to the nervous system and the ectoderm is an epithelia so the epithelial cells express e cadherin but the ectoderm just top of the notochord starts expressing n cadherin and otherwise known as neuroectoderm so you can understand the neuroectoderm is just differentiated from the nearby ectoderm 
by the expression of specific different cadherin n cadherin and the other ectoderm tissue express e cadherin so depending upon the expression of the adherence junction proteins the tissue identity could be different now later on when the neural tube is folding and neural crest cells are migrating out they express different type of cadherin for example the region which is known as the floor plate which is just above the notochord starts expressing cadherin 6p whereas the other cells of the uh, neural tube uh, express different cadherin different n cadherin the migrating cells which are neural crest cells express cadherin 7 so depending upon the type of cadherin it use its adhesion properties are very different and and sometimes the adhesion remodeling can give rise to the cell migration and cellular uh, change in cellular architecture now we talk about brain development in the brain development these adherence junction proteins especially the cadherins has huge role now when our brain is developing it has uh, something called ventricular zone in the ventricular zone there are mostly cells which are neuronal stem cells they are progenitors they would give rise to neuron and glia eventually they are connected to each other by these adherence junction proteins especially the cadherin 2 now what happens is the the and these specific interaction between the cadherins are very strong they allow these cells to divide continuously and increase in number before they can give rise to other particular uh, other particular neuron or glia and these adherence junction based interaction also ensures that they don't leave the ventricular zone and mismigrate into other regions so they they so hold still on top of the ventricular zone so what happens is this cadherin 2 which is uh, one of the specific neuronal cadherin is very important in in some cases where this cadherin 2 is mutated there is drastic changes in the brain so in the normal mouse brain it has been seen there are apical progenitors marked here in green and the basal progenitors or marked here in the red are distinct are, are separated by distinct zone now what happens in a cadherin 2 mutant mouse is the apical progenitor and the basal progenitors their adherence properties are altered so they kind of intermingle with each other and they move out to any location that leads to a huge defect in uh, layer formation in the brain and the whole brain seems to be jumbled up the whole cortex seems to be jumbled up and eventually these animals die not only in brain development or neural tube development in terms of cancer if we think then here is a epithelial carcinoma we are talking about and then eventually the worst case scenario is the cancer cells migrating to other locations by a bloodstream and they can detach from the epithelia because their adherence properties are now different it turns out that most of the cases the expression level of e cadherin in cancer cells are drastically low than the controls that allows them to easily detach from the epithelial layer and move around the body and invade other organ and thereby uh, giving rise to a secondary cancer uh, outcome so this is how adherence junction and cell junctions plays a vital role in cellular morphogenesis from brain development even cancer so if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe and do let me know in the comment how do you like my videos thank you